Welcome back to Jersey Matters. The federal government and a slew of celebrities are telling North Carolina to stop the discrimination against transgendered people. Big names like Beyonce, even the boss himself, Bruce Springsteen, say they won't play the state. This all started with an argument about using the bathroom. Should the transgender community be able to use the public restrooms of their choice rather than their birth? Here in New Jersey, same debate. But it's a growing number of high schools and a much different outcome. Transgender students are applauding this change, especially in the Pascack Valley Regional School District, where a recent vote was overwhelmingly in favor of a new policy. The superintendent says it's the Caitlyn Jenner effect. Jersey Matters' Vanessa Tyler reports. Larry, I'm at the school board meeting at Pascack Valley High where officials are dealing with the issue of sexual orientation accommodation. Question, if a student was born a boy but now identifies as a girl, which locker room should he, or rather she, use? For 14-year-old Kax Petkovic, the answer is not that simple. See, Kax was born a girl but identifies as a boy and has to walk through the halls all the way to the nurse's office to use the bathroom. Which is pretty inconvenient. And why what the board is voting on right now is so important to Kax. As a transgender student myself, I just, I feel like it's important for students to feel that they're accepted at school and for school to be a safe place for them. And I feel like with a policy like this in place, it will really just help people feel safe uh, just going to school and going through life like any other student would. The policy approved by the Pascack Valley Regional School Board would allow students to use the restroom of the gender to which they identify. This policy is really about acceptance and tolerance and understanding of students that are going through something that's a little bit different than the norm. It really is a civil rights issue and I believe that this Board of Education understands that and recognizes that we need to be sensitive to the needs of all students, transgender students and students that are not transgender. Resident Carolee Adams says this policy does not take into consideration the full rights of students who are gender conforming, who may not feel comfortable with the boy in the room and even more uncomfortable speaking out against it. Being seen, you know, by a, a biological male or having to see a biological male and they're in their bra and panties, going to be feel most uncomfortable. She believes the board is making a mistake. She is certain Pascack Valley and other schools who are now passing similar policies are setting themselves up for a big fat lawsuit. I think eventually one of these, there's so many throughout the country, one of these suits will wind up in the Supreme Court. I hope it's not the Pascack Valley Regional High School District. Uh, but I believe that that will wind up in the courts. Really upsetting for some, the policy includes transgender use of locker rooms, even rooming accommodations on overnight field trips. There's not enough parental rights that are involved. Um, that they're they're using they're getting consent from students, and students are not of age. Now you're asking 13, 14, 15, 16 year old students to give their consent to certain things without the parents being involved. The policy also has language protecting the transgender student. The school won't just out a student if a parent isn't aware. We need to balance as a school district the privacy rights of a student, especially if there is a situation in the home that may be um, putting the student in a difficult position, whether it's an abusive relationship or um, some other circumstance that really we need to be cautious of. Superintendent Gunderson says it was Caitlyn Jenner that helped put the issue in the spotlight, forcing schools to look at their policies. The attention I think has really come to a head as a result of the um, uh, Caitlyn Jenner and other individuals who have really been out there with regards to the fact that they are transgender and the, the things that they've gone through. Gunderson says if students who are not transgender feel awkward, there is a solution. Any student that feels uncomfortable changing in a changing facility, in a locker room, can request to change somewhere else. I am myself a transgender woman. This policy would have helped me in my own life coming out earlier, having the affirmation that who I was was not something wrong with me, was not something to be feared, but something that actually existed. That wasn't the case back then. The board heard stories from people like Hannah Simpson, who wished she could have used the restroom of a girl instead of being forced to use one for boys. 
Unfortunately, there are still parents that are not accepting of this. And this policy helps those students especially to navigate those difficult waters and to prove to the district and the community at large that acceptance should be the expectation, not the exception when it comes to embracing your children who might be diverse in their sexual orientation or their gender identity. Cax says accepting who he is is life-saving for him, even in something as simple as a choir uniform. This has been my first year really just kind of being open about my identity and stuff and it's been amazing uh, to just be able to finally live how I want to live. I know like I'm in the school's choir and I was like for like the concerts I've been like wearing the guy's uniform and that like the first time I did that I almost started crying. I was so happy that I, I finally got to be who I was. Members of the transgender community say they're not going away, so neither is this issue. They say it is bigger than a bathroom, but it's about their rights versus privacy. For Jersey Matters, I'm Vanessa Tyler. All right, thank you, Vanessa. Seismic testing, it wasn't supposed to happen off the Jersey coast, but it did. Why? We'll tell you next.